get the meaning of this particular act through those words that were spoken by the British Foreign Secretary at the time, Sir Edward Grey, who at 11 o'clock on the 4th of August 1914 said that the lamps are going out all over Europe. We shall not see them lit again during our lifetime. And so as we go through our service, the candles will be extinguished. And then just before we come to the Gospel reading, as a sign of hope for the future, a candle will be brought down and placed in the front of the memorial here. And also we've got some children in our midst who too are going to bring some candles out to put alongside them. I begin with a very famous verse from the Bible that's very often used on Remembrance Sunday. Jesus said, Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do as I command you. The boots of trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel in the fire. People who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. They rejoiced before you as with joy harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. And the yoke of their burden, and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of the oppressor, you have broken as on the day of midnight. For all the boots of trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish it and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be forever and ever. Amen. For all the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be turned as fuel for the fire. The true fire of hope for the future is not blown out by the wind. of the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there's sadness, joy. Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it's in giving that we receive, it's in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it's in dying that we are born to eternal life. Let's join together with the traditional words of the great family prayer, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debtors, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.